Hello dear students in this module let's learn about libre office writer it's libre office writer sometimes we pronounce it as liber office writer liber is the wrong pronunciation right pronunciation is libre it's libre libre office writer is a component of libre office it has many other features we can produce letters reports notices in a very presentable manner we can modify the text while typing and after typing we can insert graphics and make use of various graphic tools we can copy and move the text we can also preview the text before printing now let's learn how to open libre office writer to open libre office writer we have to click on libre office writer icon present on the launcher so this is the screen of libre office writer or we can say it is a libre office writer window let's study about the parts of libre office writer the first part that is the blank area or the white area that is used for typing text is known as document area students i am again repeating this blank area or the white area that is used for typing text is known as document area second part is this blinking line the blinking line that appears on the document area i am again repeating the blinking line that appears on the document area is known as cursor it's cursor coming to the third part here this is the topmost bar of libre office writer and this topmost bar is known as title bar it's title bar this title bar contains file name as well as the name of application right now the file is not saved with any name so its name is untitled 1 it is the default name of file as we are using libre office writer right now so the application name is libre office writer on the extreme right of title bar we have three buttons one is minimize another one is restore down and the third one is close button so this bar that contains file name application name and three control buttons is known as title bar now below the title bar we have one another bar that contains different menus file menu edit view insert and many other menus each menu has various commands this bar that contains different menus is known as menu bar students can you count how many menus are available on menu bar yes we all can count so just count in your mind it's 11 there are total 11 menus in menu bar now below the menu bar we have another bar that contains some shortcut icons for new file to open any file to save a file this bar that contains shortcut icons is known as standard toolbar 
I'm again repeating the bar that contains shortcut icons for some frequently used commands is known as standard toolbar. Now below the standard toolbar we have one another bar that contains various formatting options. It contains font name, font size, bold, italic, underline, font color, highlighter and many such options. The bar that contains various formatting options is known as formatting toolbar. So below the formatting toolbar we have a scale that indicates various numbers. So the scale that indicates various numbers is known as ruler. I am again repeating the scale that indicates various numbers is known as ruler. Now coming to the bottom part of screen here we have one bar that contains the page number number of words, number of characters that are available in our document. So the bar that give us the information about page number, number of characters, number of words, this bar is known as status bar. This bar gives us the status of our document. So we have learned various parts of LibreOffice Writer window. The first is Document Area, second is Cursor, third is Title Bar, fourth one is Menu Bar, fifth is Standard Toolbar, then we have Formatting Toolbar, another one is Ruler and the last one is Status Bar. So students, this is all about the screen of LibreOffice Writer. Remember the names of these parts.